Hi guys, welcome back to another video of CV, and today we're going to be talking about how we can get you cheaper insurance on your car. So we all know insurance is the biggest scam for any new driver. In some areas of the country, it is so hard to get insured, it's almost impossible, it's like thousands and thousands of pounds. So that's why today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get cheaper insurance and hopefully at least half the price of the quote you're getting. If you're like me, you pass your test straight away, first thing you did, you got home, and you looked how much the insurance is going to be on your car that you've been a learner on or on a car that you're looking at buying you found out how ridiculous insurance prices are i was looking at 2300 great british pounds to get insured on my car for a year this is way too much money to be spending on a fucking brand new bmw m4 let alone a 1.4 liter 75 horsepower corsa ridiculous so that's why i'm here to show you guys how i got my insurance from 2300 pounds to 1100 pounds so step one you've got to figure out what comparison site you're going to use i'm going to be using uh compare the market on the little meerkats but confused.com is good as well but the only reason i don't use it is because like i don't know i feel like the website's too confusing so i don't use it but use what you want we're using compare the market in this tutorial Step two is your car. By now, you should have already put in the registration of the car you want to insure or you're hoping to insure. So in this tutorial, we're only going to go through the settings that actually matter. So I'm going to, if we, if you see us ignore some, then that is just because they don't matter. So put, be honest. Well, we're going to be honest anyway, but be very honest. So what do you use your car for? So the, so the first one is uh, social, domestic, and pleasure. So that's basically normal day use, but not going to work in the car. The other one is social, domestic, pleasure and commuting. That is every. That is exactly what the last one was and you get to go to work. And the last one is everything, but you also use your car for work. So if it was a van or something. So best way to do it is to be completely honest. And if you're gonna use it to go to work, say you're gonna use it to go to work, it doesn't really matter. But if you have a black box, they'll be able to tell like, you go to this exact place every morning or something. So they'll figure it out. So just be honest. So the next one is how many miles to put to put on your insurance. So I'd say about 7,500 for your first year and then kind of judge it from there. So reason reason I say 7,500 is because it's it's like a good amount of miles. Next year your insurance comes in and you want to renew it. You can like see how many miles you did this last year and adjust it from there if you know what I mean. But for now, give yourself a good amount of miles. About 7,500 will do. Where you keep your car in the day doesn't really matter. But where you keep your car at night is very, very important. So listen in. Lock garage is the cheapest one. If you've got a lock garage, whack your car in there so you could cheapest go. If you don't have a garage, uh, you could put your car in a driveway. That's the second cheapest. And the last one is like a street away from home. That is just the more most expensive one on there. You can press more options and stuff like that, but the more options is is very similar to the drive and all that. Basically, be honest on this one, but try and do your best to put it in a garage or try and do your best to put it on a drive. You know, keep your parents' car off the drive and put yours on there if you have to. Just, you know, get it cheaper as much as you can. So the next part is actually the simplest part just this entire section just be completely honest because there's no way you can really lie but unfortunately the one where you can't do anything about it is going to be the place where it's most expensive and can vary from pretty much everyone so your insurance price is judged on your postcode and unfortunately it's just how it is uh from like more high risk areas said by the insurance it's a shame that you just can't do anything about it but you can't i mean yeah i mean i don't know what you'd do if you can figure out something else to do then you know give it a go but i don't know what you could do about that apart from move house if you if you're interested in doing that to lower your insurance but that might cost you a bit more money than just your insurance <laughs> now for the additional drivers part this is where it gets a little bit interesting so here you could really change your insurance quote so i'm going to give you three methods here these vary for all different people so try all three and see what you get so the first one the first thing to try is having two additional drivers along with yourself so that could be your mum your dad if you don't if you can't use your parents just anyone who's had their license for like a 20-ish years could be grandparents literally anyone doesn't matter who who they are to you all that matters is that they've had their license for 20 around 20 years so it's nice and cheap the second method to try is only having one additional driver i don't know why but sometimes this makes it cheaper so just give it a go see if you can get an 
see see if only ever mind driver gives you a cheaper quote sometimes it does and the third thing to try is just yourself strangely this sometimes makes it cheaper so you might as well just give all three a go and see your cheapest quote that's what i'd do step four so this is what you're gonna do this bit you're gonna go i'm gonna say exactly what you put and you're gonna go down in order so so yes comprehensive one annual payment and this is uh, just to see what the quote will be and then you can choose if you want it monthly after it doesn't matter but we just want to see what the quote is going to be the next bit is literally weirdly the most important part of the quote that you can change if your insurance quote is too high try to put your insurance from around seven days from now that can really lower the insurance i don't know why when it when it asks you to choose when the insurance start i don't know why but seven days from now around then can cut it down by half Give that a go. It's a weird one, but definitely give that a go and see what you get. Next one, put around 250 quid and say if you've got any no claims. Obviously, if you're a new driver, you won't, but if you're an experienced driver, put if you've got any no claims. Press next and then press no. I'll decide later for, for now on all of them. Now, it's finally time for your quote. Now, guys, have a look at the quotes. What, you, what do you get? Put in the comments section if you got a decent quote. But if it's still too high, try the additional driver's idea that I said. You know, if you tried two two additional drivers there, try one and then still two, I try zero. Just see what you get and then choose your cheapest from there. So, guys, unfortunately, that is the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to smash subscribe. And if I helped any of you guys out to lower your insurances, let me know. If you want to watch me do a POV drive, click here. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Mm.